amazing. They don't give you any food. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Michael McIntyre. This is my girlfriend's favorite comedian. She absolutely loves this geezer. This is on dieting. Let's go. I have lost weight. I don't know if that's coming across. <laughs> don't, don't be too happy. <laughs> this is a temporary situation. <laughs> obviously going to put it all back on. <laughs> this is what I do. I lose weight <laughs> and then I eat because I've already started eating again. I'm hungry. I'm just a very hungry person. Yeah. I've spent a lot of time at the fridge. I'm finding myself there again, just there, just grazing. And, and they beep as well. Do you have does your fridge beep? It beeps and it, it, I associate it so much with eating that when lorries reverse now, I get a bit peckish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming my metabolism. I don't actually know what metabolism is, but there are obviously people with a fast one, and I don't have that. <laughs> because you see people who are very thin, and they're like, I oh, have my metabolism is so fast. You know, I just eat, I eat like a pig. Yeah. But, you know, it just Yo, drops off me. I'm a very, <laughs> sorry. I'm a very lucky guy. I should be massive, literally, I should be so big. But it's the fact that I play so much football, and I think I do have a fast metabolism as well. If I didn't, because I, I eat so much junk. M&M's every week, digestives, tea. Look, I got some coffee here. Normally I'll be dipping in coffee, my biscuits and coffee. Bit, I'm addicted. So I do get it, Michael McIntyre, I get it. Let me know your story down below, thank you. I don't know what a metabolism is. I think it's like there's some, the things inside you and then food comes in and people with a fast metabolism are like, okay, okay, everybody, separate, separate equally. All right, you go over there, you go over there. <laughs> Little bit of you go down the leg there. The rest of you, the bulk of you, straight through. Just keep going, keep moving, don't stop. Just keep moving. Don't look behind you. We're keeping busy here, guys. We're in a rush, okay? You go over there, just shape around the arm, shape around the arm. Shape. Looking good, looking good. The rest of you through, okay? <laughs> That's not me, that's not me. <laughs> My metabolism is more like, okay, okay. Everybody, everybody, come. <laughs> come here. Just relax, okay? Just everybody relax, because we're gonna be here a very long time. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's all slowly make our way to his bum, and we'll wait there. <laughs> Maybe somebody there knows what to do. I did lose a little bit of weight on account of my wife, Fair play. who suggested that I went on a diet and suggested that I went to a medical clinic in Austria to do it. When I say suggested, she bought me flights. <laughs> she literally just handed them to me and said, go away and come back better looking. Wow. So I went to this place in Austria where you lose a stone in a week, a stone in a week. And everybody that does it loses a stone in a week. I lost a stone in a week. And it's actually, am and it's amazing how they do it. You know, you're sitting there thinking, how would you do it? A stone in a week? It's, uh, well, I'll tell you, it's, it's amazing. They don't give you any food. <laughs> I've never been more hungry in my entire life. I was trapped in this clinic in the middle of the Austrian Alps, Whoa. paying an awful lot of money Drinking this thing in the morning called Epsom salts, which just make you go to the loo. You just eat, drink it, and then an hour later, your whole system is flushed out of the loo. So I'm on the loo all week with no food, miserable, and it costs me thousands and thousands of pounds. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. I'm sure I've never been in that position where I feel like, oh my God, I have to lose so much. But if I had to, I just, I feel like you can change your diet. You don't have to go through this expense. I feel like if you're a celebrity and you have so much money, then do it. But if you're just an average Joe or average Eddie like me, just find a good diet plan. Everyone has that diet plan. You don't have to, you know, cut everything you eat. I've seen people not cut out that much and they still lose a lot. I feel like everyone's body is different, okay? So no matter what you're going through, just know your body is different, okay? Relax, you got this. I could have gone to Benidorm and eaten a dodgy prawn and had the same holiday for like 200 quid. But no, I'm in Austria. Oh, I'm in Austria with all these middle class, Slightly fat people like me. Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. We, we can barely walk for hunger. <laughs> and tummies. You know when you're a little bit hungry, or, you know, and, and the other day sometimes you're lying in bed with your partner and your tummies start getting chatty, you know. Wow. <laughs> you know, bit of digestion. <laughs> and you comment on it. Oh, your tummy's very chatty, Tommy. And sometimes yours responds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's gone too now. In Austria, I cannot tell you what it was like. Just people wandering around. 
I think my tummy actually spoke. I walked out of the, of the clinic one day to get some air off day five, and it went, oh. <laughs> I think it tried to phone for a taxi in the night while I was asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night with the phone off the hook and my tummy just going, oh. I'm going to say this. I don't think healthy people look good, all right? <laughs> Have you seen the people who work in health food shops? They're very healthy. They look terrible. <laughs> it's not like you go in there and they look all athletic and wonderful, jogging on the spot because they've got so much energy. <laughs> <laughs> they're just skipping. Hi, how can I help you? <laughs> the lentils? Ah, oh, they're just down here. <laughs> That's not what they're like at all. They're all skeletal. Let me show you to the lentils. <laughs> Do you know what? I do. I feel like you can do whatever you like to your body, but yeah. But I just don't like people that judge others, yeah. If you want to eat everything, eat. Literally, do what you want to do. Like I always say when I did reactions to, what's it called? 1,000 pound man. Like as, as long as it doesn't affect me, do what you want to do. Okay? It's when it starts affecting me. If let's say I'm traveling now and I, have, and I have to sit right beside you and there's no space for me to sit, then I'll be, I'll be pissed. I don't care if I'm flying and someone is five times bigger than me and they're taking off my seat. I don't, I'll be pissed. I don't, I don't complain. I usually don't complain. But little things like that, that get me going. Let me know what you guys think. I need vitamins, I have supplements, massive things. I, I can't swim. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's good, I've seen him two, three times. I'm not really a massive, I wasn't a massive fan. So my girlfriend just kept saying, yo, she calls me, she knows I react. She goes, yo, you have to check them, you have to check him out. He's really funny. So yeah, that was really good. That was really good. It reminds me of a bit of um what's his name? Ah, what's his name? From Max, Paddy and Max, what's his name? Uh something Lee. What's his name? What's his <sighs> I know what I'm talking about anyway. If you like that, like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, check out the membership, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.